Bernoulli's principle combines what we know of blood flow and conservation of energy to describe the blood flow through a stenosis. A stenosis is a narrowing in the blood vessel. The narrowing is typically due to thrombus, which reduces the radius of the vessel. A stenosis can have multiple effects on the blood. They include change in direction of flow, increased velocity in the stenosis, downstream turbulence, decreased pressure in the stenosis, and pulsatile changes to steady flow. Let's review then what the stenosis causes through images. Change in direction of flow. As laminar flow enters into the stenosis, it must change direction not only in the stenosis, but then after the stenosis. The flow must increase in velocity through a stenosis. So in this diagram, spot B has the highest velocity compared to spots A and C. This is because of Bernoulli's principle. Stenosis causes downstream turbulence. One of the hallmark signs of a stenosis, if you can't actually see it, is to see the turbulent flow behind it. The stenosis will have decreased pressure. In this diagram again, spot B, which has the highest velocity, also has the lowest pressure. This again is because of Bernoulli's principle. The pulsatility seen in location A will change to steady flow briefly while traveling through and after the stenosis. Pulsatility usually resumes later in the vessel, well past spot C. The conservation of energy is part of the basis of Bernoulli's principle. As a reminder, the conservation of energy law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only altered. This means that if a system loses energy, that energy is transformed into a different type of energy out of the system. If a system gains energy, then that energy had to come from somewhere. It doesn't magically appear. The continuity rule follows the same principle as the conservation of energy law. In a stenosis, the flow volume rate has to remain the same and as blood cells are not destroyed. So there must be some change in velocity to maintain the same flow rate. The equation that explains the continuity rule is that flow rate equals the velocity multiplied by area. So if the flow rate is to remain constant and the area is reduced, that means velocity must increase. By placing representative numbers into the equation, we can see that when the area reduces from 10 to two, the velocity increased from 10 to 50 to maintain a flow rate of 100. Bernoulli's principle combines these two ideas to describe flow in the stenosis. Bernoulli takes the continuity rule one step further to say that if velocity increases, then there must be a pressure decrease in the stenosis. Pressure is a type of energy, and to increase the energy in a stenosis to make more velocity, that pressure energy has to be converted into more kinetic energy. This principle satisfies the conservation of energy and the continuity rule. Again, assigning arbitrary numbers to illustrate the principle, the pressure energy before the stenosis equals seven and the kinetic energy equals five for a total of 12 energies. Once the blood flows into the stenosis, the velocity increases. That means more kinetic energy. To get more kinetic energy, we have to reduce the pressure energy. So now we have kinetic energy at eight and our pressure energy at four, still equaling 12 energies. After the stenosis then, things balance out in a different way. The kinetic energy reduces and the pressure energy increases again, making kinetic energy at six, pressure energy at six, again, maintaining that 12 energies.